Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz with Terry. I was going to talk about the Nuremberg today and do a review. Now this is not the Nuremberg as you might notice, that's actually the Pensacola. So what's up? Um, I had a couple conversations with people in game and uh, some people had really great ideas and pointed out that look a lot of a lot of um, a lot of us watching your videos are new players. And um, while the ship reviews are all very interesting and, and premium ship reviews are nice, but um, a lot of us are just in mid-tier and have just kind of started the game and have a couple of hundred battles in and don't really know all that much about these things. So why not make a video about, well, how to shoot? Because that's kind of an important thing in World of Warships. And it's, it's good to know how to position, how to shoot and how to do these kind of things, how citadels work, how armor works and such. So, um, I really like that idea, so thanks to all who brought that up, um, which means we're not going to be talking about the Nuremberg today. We're going to be shooting at the Nuremberg today at some point, but we're not going to be talking about her. What we'll talk about instead is uh, citadels, because, um, well, hitting the citadel is good if you're the one doing it, and very bad if you're at the receiving end. So. Why do I have the Pensacola up here? Well, because this is a screenshot I took quite a while ago uh, and she's in a die dock, which means you can actually see well, the things that are below the waterline. And um, let me switch that out to a picture where I've done a little bit of painting and um, colored this area. Now, what's a citadel? Um, historically, the idea came up at some point that um, uh, people said, okay, we, we've got we've got shells that are so big that we can't armor all the bits of the ships sufficiently to bounce these shells or to protect against these shells, which means that, well, wherever they hit, they go through and they damage things in the inside of the ship. And um, if a shell hits a magazine, as uh, certain British warships have found out, it, it uh, very bad things tend to happen. So people thought, hey, um, maybe we'll not put the armor just literally everywhere as an afterthought and just try to put plating on and then the ships get too heavy and then we have to remove it again until it gets lightweight enough that it can actually move. But maybe we just put all the really important bits under heavy armor and um, the other bits that are not so important to be shot at um, under not so heavy armor or under no armor at all. And this is the all or nothing concept where the idea of citadels was born. Now obviously World of Warships is to a degree modeling this and uh, trying to be realistic here. So the idea is that if you hit a ship in that area, in that protected area, because it contains bits that really don't like being shot at, like um, engines, fuel storage, and uh, the magazines. So if you hit these things, they tend to, bad things tend to happen. Also, usually the command control structure and all these kind of things. So in World of Warships, uh, most uh, cruisers and battleships and carriers, destroyers don't have these because they don't have any armor to start with. Um, but uh, cruisers, uh, battleships and carriers usually have citadels. Now the citadel, we don't know exactly what the armor layout is in World of Warships Blitz because we don't have any information. We do have some research on the PC version of things, but I'm kind of generally going in this, in this direction. Not 100% sure if this is accurate, but... Um, Traditionally, the, uh, the citadel is a heavily armored tub inside the ship. It's usually mostly under the water line, so it's not so easy to hit. And that's where all the important parts are. So the engines, how do we, how do we find the citadel on an enemy ship? Uh, the engines are underneath the smokestacks because, well, they're boilers and uh, they produce smoke and smoke has to come out somewhere. So they'll be under the smokestacks. The magazines, are usually uh, where the turrets are. And then you've got the babettes, which are kind of big, heavily armored tubes. And that's where the um, where the shells actually get, get uh, lifted up into the turrets and then loaded into the guns to fire. So these are kind of, these are kind of hints we can take from an enemy ship where we want our shells to land. We want our shells to hit close to the water line or going up through, uh, through the decks in the area where either turrets are or where the smokestacks are. So that's where we want to hit enemy ships, uh, cru that is cruisers, battleships, and, and carriers. Now obviously, in order to do something about this, we actually have to get through the armor. How do we get through the armor? Well, with armor-piercing shells, for starters, 
because uh, they're specifically made to punch through armor. Ships, but ships also have, well, increased armor, especially around uh, the belt. So on the side of the ship, you often have a lot of armor. So either you have a shell which is large enough and you're close enough and you have a high enough shell velocity that it can actually punch through this armor, um, or it, it'll explode to damage but not actually get through into the, into the citadel. So here are the factors, these are the factors that, that affect how we can do this. It's, well, the thickness of the armor, which is not something we can really see from, from the game. It's just something you learn about experience. Uh, the caliber of the shell, which we know. The muzzle velocity of the shell, which we don't. So it depends on how far, how fast the shells are going. How far away you are. So rule of thumb, the closer you are, the more power is behind your shells and the more armor penetration you get. So bigger caliber, closer range, these kind of things. And obviously then where you actually hit the ship, you can do plunging fire from the top. So the shell arc makes a, makes a difference as well. Uh, or you can do direct fire into the sides of ships. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the details of all these things. The last thing that I want to mention here is the angle. Because imagine a plate of armor. Let's say it's, it's about 100 millimeters thick. If you punch, if you shoot straight at that, at a 90 degree angle at these 100 millimeters of armor, you have 100 millimeters of armor to get through. If you shoot not at a 90 degrees angle, but at a different angle, you have more armor to get through. And uh, you have a higher chance that your shell can't actually penetrate this. So we again, we don't know in, in World of Warships Blitz if it has the same overmatch mechanics as the PC version does, but generally try, uh, try, try to angle. Right? Try to angle your armor as much as you can against enemy shells because it reduces the amount of uh, this reduces the chances that they get to penetrate and get into your citadel. So that said, let's actually take a look at the German tier six battleship, the Bayern. Now I don't have a captain because, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I'm really short on German captains, and the battleship captain is currently on the Tirpitz. But well, we'll we'll make do without that. The Bayon is a tier 6 German battleship. She's a very nice ship. She's one of my favorite ships, really. And uh, she has 380 millimeter guns, which is relatively large for tier 6. The American and Japanese ships have 356 millimeters, I believe. Uh, the War Spite is extremely similar to the Bayon in, in gun layout and everything else. And uh, the main guns we see here do 250% citadel damage. So this means you're doing a potential 1,600 damage uh, with the armor piercing. If you manage to get through and hit the citadel, you do two and a half times that, uh, which is a lot. So definitely something we want to do. Now, the secondary guns uh, on the on the German ships are, um, are armor piercing as well, but they're only 150 millimeters, so smaller caliber. So again, remember, it depends on the angle of the ship the distance and where you hit the thing. So let's give this a try, shall we? What I'm actually going to do is I am going to go into a co-op battle because um, I find these really useful for research because you don't really need to worry about you know doing dumb things and getting shot down. I really just want to try and see what's going on here. So we've got a Ranger, New Mexico, Pensacola, which is a good target, Fire Goods, which are not so good target for what we're trying to do. So the Pensacola, as we've just seen on, on the picture, is a tier, uh, tier 6 American cruiser. But she is a very lightly armored cruiser. So we should be able to get Citadel penetrations on her if we need without much of much, much problem. And I'm going to skip a bit forward here to when it gets interesting. Because the beginning of the battle is just everybody moving slightly forward and waiting for the bots to show up. So there we got the first target. There is the Pensacola. Now notice that she is not giving me any broadside. She's angled forward. But she doesn't have much in terms of armor, so I'm just going to get some shots out. And see what's going to happen. Now obviously the accuracy of battleships isn't great. So we get some good penetrations, we get some semi-penetrations. I might have hit a turret there from the top. The turrets are, are often... Um, very heavily armored, obviously, because you don't want these things to be shot up. So I'm slowing down, and here comes the Pensacola giving me a perfect broadside. So we're at five kilometers, so we get the, the shots out, 
And there we go, Citadel hit, 3,800 damage. We hit her probably in the engine under the smokestack. And that's why you don't want to give broadsides. Now she angles a little bit in. And that means maybe her side armor is a bit more effective. We get, we still get good penetrations, and we tried 150 millimeters, and I actually get through the um, under the front under the front turret. I get through with 150 millimeters at point blank range, and uh, manage to to get a citadel penetration with the secondaries as well. Now, next target is a New Mexico American battleship, very well armored, and we're shooting at uh, almost maximum range. So the shells are going to fly high, and the shells are going to drop in from the top. And we're sh shooting a little bit far in the rear here, so you need we need to lead a little bit more. They do damage, they do penetrations to the deck armor, but here comes a much better target, because there's another New Mexico, but she's giving us broadsides, so she's showing us her side armor. But again, we're shooting at maximum range here, so we'll see how much damage that's going to do. And she, I think she ran into that Fubuki, so most of the shells actually land too far too far ahead. And again, I probably uh, bounced some shells off her, her main turrets. So the New Mexico is probably Precise dead over victory. there. Let's wait for the guns to reload. Get another salvo off. We're about six kilometers. Uh, and we get a citadel. Right? Because we shot at the center of the ship and we managed to get either next to the guns or through the superstructure. Through this at six kilometer range with the 380 millimeters, we can definitely do citadels against an American battleship. So here's the Ranger, and she's stationary, so I'm just going to get some, some shots out and see where they land. And we get a Citadel hit, that was probably the one that hit her be, uh, below the smokestack, because that's where I assume the engines are. Now, um, I don't know with carriers exactly where the Citadels are in these things. I'd assume, given that they don't have much in terms of main batteries, that they're relatively small, and I'm just going to shoot a bit at the front, and we see we don't get any Citadels. We, we get very good armor penetrations, but we hit the carry in the front, we don't get any citadels because it's in the rear under the smokestack. So, all in all, we did shoot at some bots and bots showed us, um, bots showed us uh, broadsides, which makes it easier to hit them and makes it easier to hit them uh, in the citadel. But at close range, um, if, you, if you aim correctly and you get in through the deck armor, and you manage not to hit the, the gun turrets, uh, and your battleship guns are more accurate. So we did four Citadel hits in this, in, in, in this game, and um, yeah, that, that's kind of the thing you can do in terms of aiming. Let's have a quick look at another ship, the cr a cruiser this time, the Admiral Hipper. That's the Tier 8 German heavy cruiser. It is one of my favorite ships, really. She has 203 millimeter guns. Now, if you're shooting with battleships at other battleships, or with battleships at carriers, or with battleships at cruisers of a similar tier, you can citadel them. You can you have enough caliber in the guns that if you're getting into into ideal ranges, or sometimes even at long range, if you're lucky with your plunging fire and it doesn't bounce off the turrets, but actually gets through the deck armor and the citadel armor, you can do citadel hits. With cruisers and 200 millimeter guns, it's a different story. You can. Citadel other cruisers, you, um, especially Japanese cruisers are notorious for being very, uh, very weakly armored. So if you see a broadsiding Japanese cruiser, you can punish her with the 200 millimeter guns very, very easily. Uh, battleships is a completely different story. You can get lucky, but um, you have to get lucky. You probably can't get through the belt armor because it's usually too thick. So you might have to try and get through um, through the deck armor. But then on long range, you don't have enough uh, penetrating power to get the 303 millimeter shells through, which is usually why I attend, if I, if I sail cruisers and I'm faced with battleships, I tend to fire high explosive at them. The problem with the German cruisers, of course, is now that the high explosive is garbage. Well, it's not absolutely terrible, but it's quite terrible compared to... Um, compared to what other ships can, um, uh, what other nation ships can do. So let's, uh, let's do another experiment and uh, just sail her into, into a co-op battle. And we've got a ranger and a magi 
and a New Orleans. Unfortunately, we've got four destroyers, which are completely not interesting for what we're doing right now. So again, let's skip a little bit ahead until we actually find something that's interesting. Because at, uh, at the beginning of the battle, there's not really to do. Okay. There's an Amagi. We're shooting maximum range Precisely and we're shooting our piercing. Now we want to try and hit her in the, in the center somewhere around the superstructure, not where the gun turrets are. And we do manage to get um, get some penetration, penetrating hits, but we're not getting the citadels. So you have to kind of have experience as to how long your shells are flying, um, where they're uh, where they are, uh, where they're going to land when when they get there. So you see, we, I'm, I'm trying to hit her in the center, but um, I do bounce off the, the side armor eventually, and I'm not able to penetrate her even broadside. So here's another target. There's a New Orleans. The New Orleans is an American cruiser. And we should have a better chance, but we are firing... Again, we are firing uh, from, from far away, so from our shell arcs. As you can see, the shell's coming from the top, nice pretty shot. much. So at this distance, we're getting closer, but the shell arc still prevents us from actually getting anywhere, plus she's angled. So I'm still trying to hit her in the hit center. The as much as possible just to get the damage in and we are now at five kilometers so I, obviously at this point I could have just torpedoed her but that's not the point of this research so again oh, trying to hit her in the middle and there we go we got through through the deck armor and into the citadel and we did uh, double damage for that shot uh, you obviously have to get lucky as well so you know, see that shot for example could have well been a citadel but uh, we just got we just didn't get lucky and again, we're not close range, so I'm aiming at the center, trying to hit her in the engine room. Uh, she's dead. Now, there's a Ranger. Uh, let's see what we can do against her. 200 millimeter guns, six kilometer, um, six kilometer distance. I'm trying to shoot at the at the side of the ship, because um, they uh, not I'm not sure what the deck armor is like on these things. And again, you see, if I'm shooting if I'm shooting at the front of it, I'm getting good penetrations, and I'm getting full armor penetrations. But I'm not getting a citadel hit, so if I'm, I'm, so I'm going to try and hit her in the engine room. But no luck. Uh, that's where the smokestack was. So if you want to have a citadel, that's a good place to, to try and try and shoot her. And that's pretty much what we did with the hipper. So again, rule of thumb: if you're in a in a cruiser, you're shooting armor piercing at battleships, you will have an extremely hard time citadeling them. If you are shooting at other cruisers, especially relatively lightly armored cruisers, uh, and um, Japanese cruisers are always good to shoot at, uh, if they're broadsiding and you aim at um, you, you aim at the vital bits, then uh, you, you do have a chance to do citadels and carriers is, uh, is the same story. So so far this has all been good and theor theoretic. So, but what 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 about a real battle? What does this look like in a real battle? Because, you know, like, if you're playing against bots, you have all the time in the world to aim, you don't have to worry about anything, your tactics, your health, winning the game or something. How about in a real game? So let's bring along the Warspite, one of my, uh, my favorite uh, British premium battleships. She is a tier six. It's very similar to the Nuremberg. Uh, again, the, the main batteries are 380 millimeter, bit uh, bigger caliber than uh, other ships, at this, other battleships at this tier, and she's got um, the 150 millimeter armor-piercing secondaries, and we do 250 percent citadel damage if we can hit the citadel. So let's uh, let's go and take her into battle against some real players, and we are facing. We're facing with bottom tier. There's a there's a tier seven Minsk, but the other ships are pretty much uh, pretty much tier six in the uh, on on both sides. So three destroyers, uh, and we're playing Haven. So that's a very DD friendly map. Let's um, let's head to C, because the enemy team spawns kind of mirror to us. So there's no way they're going to cap D anyway. So the Anskator on our team can go and cap D, and we're going to hit to that big gap there around C and see if we can secure that that cap and um, get some fire onto anyone who's uh, who's around. The enemy team should be around A and B cap. So 
Uh, it's also possible that they push through C, which is why I'm, I'm aligning my guns to the right at this point, because I, I'm getting ready to to do a hard turn left in case they do push, uh, or, or to slow down and angle in case they do push C. Depends on what they're pushing with. So if, let's say, the Fuso comes comes around, then um, or the Arizona, which is a very good ships, both of them, then uh, you need to be ready. But nobody seems to be interested in C quite yet. We've got the we've got two of the three DD spotted and the cruiser, and the carrier is put the carrier is pushing towards A. So they all seem to be occupied over there. Okay, we're detected. I can't see anything, so it's not a battleship, and C gets cut. So one of the destroyers that hasn't been spotted is in C. So I'm slowing down. Um, just angling in a little bit and I'm kind of waiting for and uh, there she is there's the Fubuki now I've got hikes I've got armor piercing loaded but um, I might as well shoot because I've got nothing else to shoot at and I think all these shots miss so uh, there's nothing so there's she, the Fubuki probably dropped torpedoes against me so I'm just gonna leisurely turn a little bit to the right let these torpedoes go past me and there's a much better target it's a Nuremberg the Nuremberg is a German light cruiser now, unfortunately, I'm a little bit too late, so I'm just kind of gonna hit her in the rear for one penetrating shot. But um, uh, I have to swing the guns around, and we can secure C as we plan. Now, there's the Arizona. We're shooting at max range, so dispersion is gonna be terrible. The Nuremberg's currently behind the island. You do not want to get give broadside in these things. You got lucky there. Okay, so a couple bounces, couple penetrations. There, the Nuremberg comes up. And here she gets really lucky because I've got her at point blank range. I'm hitting her right in the center, and that should have been a citadel, or two of them. But um, she got really lucky that I only had half of my my guns loaded, and uh, well, our destroyer takes her out. So uh, shots out against the Fubuki just because, and <laughs> I'm completely missing. Put a shot at the Arizona there. I'm speeding up again because she probably sent torpedoes out. And she's out of range of the secondaries, so... Uh, let's get back to the other customer here. The Arizona, giving us perfect broadside, but... Um, heavily armored American battleship. Long range. Dispersion, we need to be careful. Uh, oh, we need to be lucky to actually hit her. So shots come in plunging from the bottom. Uh, from the top, so... What I'm hoping for is to get through the deck armor and hit her in the citadel, but at this range... And she's angling away. You can see it on the minimap, right? She's kind of at a 90 degrees angle towards me at this point. So uh, there's uh, there's not a great chance that I'm actually going to get through this, but I'm just keeping the shots up against her anyway because it looks like she's gonna she's gonna beat herself. Yes, there she is. So now I'm 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 pointing. I'm not leading the shots anymore because she slowed down. Right? She ran into that island there, and I get unlucky here and I keep hitting the the turrets with this thing. So now she's giving me broadside, and she's very slow because she ran into the island. But still, my shots, my, the dispersion of my shots just really means that I'm not necessarily getting any great hits in. But we're doing some damage. Here's a much better customer. There's a Fuso. And the Fuso is giving me broadside. And the Fuso is actually reversing, I think. Yeah, she's reversing. Look at my shots. She's, they're actually going uh, going up front and doing semi pens. Okay, now this should land better. We're at 8 kilometers, so a little bit f far still. Um, but we've got the 380 millimeter. Uh, uh, 380 millimeter guns and we've got a, a broadsiding Fuso. She's uh, stopping, look at the smoke stack. You can see which way that she's turning. Right now she's stopping and she's moving forward. There goes the first citadel. Uh, that should have been either the um, uh, the engine room or one of the storages. There goes the second citadel. And now he's, now she's regretting broadsiding, <laughs> broadsiding a British battleship at 6 kilometer range. And she's still firing. I don't know if she actually know who she's firing at. Um, but uh, now she starts angling away a little bit, and we need to get lucky to get another citadel. We're still at good range. This go a little bit far to the rear because she's speeding up, and uh, we're just doing regular armor piercing. But um, that's nothing to um, regular armor piercing is nothing uh, damage. If it's a full pen, it's nothing to um, to look down onto. So a couple more shots out, and I think the carrier takes her out. Yeah, and there she's gone. Which means we only have the enemy carrier around still. And um, at this point, I'm trying to chase her down. I mean, we've won this game, right? Uh, they only have the carrier left. The carrier's probably... Uh, she went through A cup, so it's probably somewhere down south. And um, just, just keep an eye on... If you're trying to find a carrier, just keep an eye on where the planes are going. 
because if the plane the planes are returning you can see the planes all over the map there that's where she, there, you see them land that's where she is and now she's also spotted because uh, our carrier is actually dropping her but um uh, yeah that that's uh can i still hit her now i've got 20 seconds left and um i'm just not fast enough to to get in range with my with my 24 knots so kind of trying to line up a shot here, but yeah, if you need to find a carrier, just follow the planes. You know where they are, even if you can't actually see them, the where where the planes are landing. So I'm sending the shots out, but uh, yeah, she's not in range. They're falling short, and the battle is over. Okay, so citadels with battleships uh, is really what you what you're kind of looking for. If you're trying to do consistent good damage. Um, Try, try to, try to aim, try to aim for the citadel if you can. Try to aim at the center of the ship. That's a good rule of thumb. Just aim at the center of the ship, and um, uh, take take your the time your your your, uh, your shells go get the take to get there into account, plus um, the time, uh, plus the movement of the of the enemy ship. So it's a little bit of a of an experience thing really it's like you can practice in co-op mode and just play a couple battle against bots and don't even worry about damage controlling or anything because you know win lose doesn't matter but um just practice to get a feel for the shells on your ship how fast they fly how long it takes them to get there and um observe the smokestack of the enemy ship because it can tell you if they're going forwards or backwards and prioritize targets that you can do massive amounts of damage in so if you're in a if you're in a battleship and you've got a cruiser at close range broadsiding you, that's a much better target than a cruiser at long range that's angling. Um, and yeah, try, try, to, try to do these things, try to practice a bit. And uh, the flatter armor angles are good. Uh, you, you, can, you can totally sh citadel ships uh, f that are angled if you close enough that you can get through the deck armor underneath the gun, underneath the gun turrets and um, hit the barbettes or hit the citadel that way as we've seen with the Fuso. So, yeah, that, that's how this works. And uh, I hope I explained that in not too, not too crazy complicated terms and uh, make everybody's games a little bit better. And um, on, the, on the other side, it also means that if you are facing enemy battleships, don't, don't, don't give them broadsides. They have long range and they will punish you. Don't give them broadsides. Angle your armor as much as you can. And that'll help you, even in a cruiser, that'll help you with Citadels. And don't try to Citadel destroyers, because you can't, because they don't have any. They don't have any armor, so there's no point in that. All right, next week uh, we're getting back to ship reviews. I've, I've still got a long backlog of things, so I'll pick something nice that we can review. Uh, as usual, if there's anything that you really want to know, just, uh, just drop me a comment or, or ping me in-game. That's fine, and um, I'll see what I can do. That's it for today. See you next time, everybody. Bye.